My name is Brother Bamboo, also known as Baba Zain, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Erica. Erika Mukisakimani, a.k.a. Yes. Mama Maisha. Yes, and I'm Baba Zain, and we have a special guest today by the name of Sheikhs Kamau, and her testimony is explosive. And what she has to say, I think the world should listen to. Yes, uh, Sheikhs was a member of the LGBTQ we got to know about her story through Lini Gugi. Yeah. And we decided that her voice should be heard. I mean, these are some of the things that we've been trying to address. All this while we've been trying to explain to you that this whole agenda is demonic, it's satanic, and it's the strategy of the enemy to destroy humanity. So without wasting time, let's yes. allow our sister Shiggs to share her experience. Man, you're welcome, Shiggs. Thank you so much, Erika and Bambu, for having me on your platform. Yes. Uh, my name is, for the viewer, my name is Sheikh Skamo, as you have heard. Mm. I'm 22 years old and I'm born again and praise Jesus. That Amen. is always. So I'm 22 years old, born and raised in Ivasha, mm. and are living in Nairobi as a quantity surveyor. Wow. Amen. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so kindly give us uh, a background of who Shiggs Kamau is. Yeah, we need to know. Okay, we'll yeah, start Family from... and how you ended up uh, joining the LGBTQ. Yeah, so again, I've been born and raised in Ivasha, just like any other kid. Mm. And growing up, I've attended schooling from nursery school to college mm -hmm. and uh, as i've said i finished my studies in 2022 last year that is in mm -hmm. december and now i am here to share my story mm -hmm. and uh, explain how it all started mm -hmm. and where i felt like this has to come to an end mm -hmm. right. so growing up i've been born in a family of three girls mm -hmm. being the second born and now that is where my whole story starts mm -hmm. where my younger sister was born that is 2008 i was only eight years old mm -hmm. And after she was born, there was there was a gap. Okay, as all uh, as everyone knows, uh, being the last born is a bit and uh, involving, and mm. you're so close to your parents, and they start the bond that is there between the last born and the parents. Mm. So when my younger sister was came, mm. I felt like now the attention had shifted to her, and I'm no longer the kid. And to me, because I was young and maybe naive, mm. I didn't know that that was normal. Mm. But for me, I took it to heart as, you know, you no longer loved in the family. You mm. know, you now have to defend yourself. There is no one who is there for you. So mm. from there, that is where the story starts. And when I was wow. playing with other kids, now he started now to be the one who is defending them because mm. now, you know, I don't have anyone to protect me. So mm. I, I have that calm, a feeling of you have to protect yourself. Mm. So that is how I, I, it came up. But I didn't know it was a seed in me that would grow and become maybe a big tree mm. and that would later come to affect the whole family, not even only wow, me. that's very interesting. So the enemy took so, advantage of her situation. Yeah, yeah, and it was a seed that was sown since your youth. Yes. And I think that was like a seed of... I can't, she I felt think it's, rejected. Yeah, and rejection are often um, spurs rebellion. Mm. It makes you want to go out and just be a, a misfit or be... You know, whatever you want to be. Do the opposite of, of what other people are doing. Exactly. To, yes. be, to do the opposite of what they want. Because, so that you can be recognized. Right. Oh, wow. Amen. Wow, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've start, that is where it all started. But uh, me coming to know who I really was or to identify myself as part of the family, it mm -hmm. all came in high school because that is where the puberty levels, they're a bit high, and that mm. is where you find your identity, that is where you're able to tell who you are. Mm. And the entire time, I can say I was doing it innocently, uh, despite the fact that I had girlfriends and all those things back in primary school, mm. I think I was still naive and I didn't know a lot about this. Also growing up, because I've been br brought up in church, mm. we've been taught about these things. Mm. So fearing for, telling you know you can go to t and tell someone you know i'm feeling this and this and this and that is happening mm -hmm. and uh, mostly the fear of rejection and to be judged you know people would say you know you're evil you're demonic i think mm -hmm. that also added up to me keeping quiet and you know moving with the with the vibe of loving girls okay yes. uh, kindly explain about uh your childhood still yes because uh there 
there are cartoons now that we see yes. that the enemy is using to introduce this idea yeah. in the children's minds. Yes. Did you watch cartoons when you were young? Yeah, when I was young, just like any other kid, mm. our favorites was cartoons. Mm. But uh, right now I feel like there's a very big difference between the cartoons we, we used to watch back then mm. and the cartoons that are uh, being watched by our kids right now. Mm. The first thing is back then when we were growing up, there was this thing of racism mm. and that is what they were trying to drive in our minds. Mm. Race doesn't matter, humans are humans. Wow. And so in our cartoons, mostly it was black and white just to show you there is no gap between the two yeah. but right now it's something different the white are there the blacks are there but now there is another hidden agenda not even in cartoons well even in movies so yes. you mm -hmm. find out that uh, there is this agenda that is being pushed that you can't watch a movie and find uh, that there is no gay person right. mm -hmm. you know they are they are, mass, they are they, the community is being embraced they want you to embrace it and if those small kids grow up knowing you know being gay is not but we see it on tv mm -hmm. a certain character on tv does it so mm -hmm. it's something they're trying to instill in our children's minds and once you grow up knowing something it's very hard for you to forget it or someone to convince you otherwise wow yeah uh, before we get to now that point when you joined the group yes. kindly explain to somebody that is watching what lgbtq uh i think aio plus stands for <laughs> yeah so i'll try to explain from the l l means the mm -hmm. lesbian that is the girl side right. girls who are attracted to the fellow girls okay. then we have g that is the gay. Those mm. are the men who are sexually attracted to other men. Mm. Right. Then we have the B, that is the bisexual. Mm. It either falls on the men's side or the women's side. Mm. But if it's a woman attracted to both women and men, mm. and for if it's for the men, it's vice versa. You know, attracted to men and women. Mm. So we have the B. T means transgender. Transgender means someone who was born a woman, but mm -hmm. they decide to go for some surgeries and their bodies are reconstructed. Mm -hmm. And if it's a man, re for, reconstructed to a woman, and if, if it's a woman, uh, reconstructed to a, to a man. Wow. And then you have the Q that stands for the queer. I think that that is a, a very important label in that cult because they can't call it a family anymore. Mm -hmm. A queer person is someone who comes out and tells the world their identity. You know, mm -hmm. they fear. Most of the people who are, are in this family, they fear coming out. But once you're queer, you just do your thing openly and you don't fear anything. You know, you just come out as you. So that is the so queer. So queer or weird? Queer. 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 Yes, okay. queer. Mm -hmm. Then we have LGBTQI. I means the intersex. The intersex, mm -hmm. these are people who are born with both sexual organs. Mm -hmm. Those ones, we don't blame on them. Then we have A, but that stands for the asexuals. An asexual is divided into many portions, but the general meaning of it is that someone who is not, uh, doesn't have the sexual feelings, they're just not sexual. Wow. Yeah, then the plus stands for other people, rather than the ones we've mentioned, but they, they, are, they support the group. They are not part of active members of the family or of the cult, mm. but now they support it. They so have nothing against it. By supporting it and uh, consenting and like accepting it, yes. they, they are part of the rainbow family. Yes. Hey, thanks. Wow. Where do you fall? Exactly. So, and exactly, it's good you ask where do you fall because if you're intersex, that means that you have both male and female features. Mm. But there's a way you can tell because you can get an x ray and just check the bones. Yes. The bone structure in the pelvic region mm. will reveal because a woman will have childbearing hips it'll be it'll be you know quite obvious so if yeah. you have a, a woman's bone structure you're female mm. so i guess you're allowed to go and cut off whatever is extra yeah <laughs> but if you if extra. yeah if you're if you're if you have a bone structure of a man then you were meant to be a male mm. so you know doctors can doctors can definitely help you with that yeah but i think it, it, you can tell by the bone structure Mm. Right, right. Okay, so please take us to your journey, how you mm. joined the community. Yes. Mm. So I can say where I came to identify myself as one of the labels I've, I've just stated mm -hmm. is when I was still in high school. I said high school is where you get to know yourself better. You mm. know, when we're still in our 
primary levels, we don't really know who we are, we mm. really don't understand what we're feeling. Mm. But now getting to high school, that is when now you, you meet different people from different backgrounds, people with different information. Mm. So that's when I say I can say I started identifying myself as something. That is when I was in Form 2. That was in 2016, yes, back in 2016. That is when I, I started now saying, no, I've been living a fake life because the whole time I was fighting the, what I was feeling about girls mm -hmm. and just to make my parents happy because being brought up in church, my parents being uh, ring leaders in the church and you start identifying yourself as you know, a homosexual, mm -hmm. it was hard. So I used to live the whole time I was living a fake life just to please people. Mm -hmm. But it came to form two and I felt like I was not even being appreciated for whatever I was doing. And I was doing it for them. Like if I passed my exams, expected you know to be appreciated but you get that from home it's your mm -hmm. responsibility to work hard and become this great person mm -hmm. so i felt like i'm doing all this because of you and so that you can make your parents proud yes mm -hmm. and you're not taking it for serious so i said let me leave me and that is when i fully identified myself as a lesbian mm -hmm. but i would come to later know that i was not even a lesbian or something different <gasps> But in form so two. even in that uh, LGBTQ, there are other classes, groupings. Yes. Okay, kindly give us those groupings because. Uh, okay, for the lesbian world, I will talk about that because that is my experience. So mm -hmm. for the lesbian world, we have the fem, mm -hmm. we have the stud, and then we have the stem. Mm -hmm. For the fem is the girl in the relationship because that is the girl, the feminine person in the relationship. Then we have the stud, that is the man in the relationship. You'd see it from the, the way of dressing. You, they will even like a look girl man. Girl. like a man. Yes, okay. they're called the stud. I think they call that a butch. She's like the man in yes. the relationship. And mm. the, the butch in Kenya, mostly they are not identified as that, but in other countries they are called the butch. They are more yeah. muscular. Yeah, martial, right? yes. yeah. They might punch you. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so uh, that is the start. Then we move to a stem. A stem is one who is not, can, at times they will dress like a woman and be feminine. And right. then on the other hand, they can also be the start. Okay. Yeah, so I started feeling now, I'm, I'm too feminine to be a start. So I had, you know, the masculinity, I would feel like I need to be the one protecting others. I, I said, no, but I'm too feminine. My dressing, how I talk, I do my things, I'm so feminine. So I identified myself as a femme. Mm. Although I had some other weird characters, I would approach people and shoot my shot, of which it's, it's the study is the one who's supposed to make all those moves. Mm. But for me, I didn't really care. I would shoot my shot and do all these things, but I was a femme. Mm. That was in form two. And the whole story continues until I'm done with form four. That is when, the, as you grow, the more you get the exposure. You know, where you started is not where you will be in the next two years, three years. Mm -hmm. So the more you stay in the community, the more you get to learn more and know more about it. So mm -hmm. after I was done with my Form 4, I started some computer packages classes. And in that institution, that is where I met this gay person. He was a gay guy, mm -hmm. but now he was the gay bottom. In the gay world, we have the tops and the bottoms. Mm -hmm. So for the for the tops, there is like the men in the relationship. Then we have the the bottoms. These are the women. They are a bit slaves, you know. The, the they, women. They, they swallow those pills to change their hormones. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. There are some who they, they are some who say they were born like that because even the background matters how you're you're raised. Now, are those pills available in Kenya? They are everywhere. Wow. wow. No, I, think, I, think, I think the people need to know that because if those pills are allowed here and yet it's illegal, you know what I mean, to change your sexuality from male to female, yeah. mm. then that's part, of, that's part of the drug trade. Yes. Now, she mentioned something that is also very important here. Mm. Uh, are there some people that, according to them, they say some people are born gay. So are there some people that uh, I just want to hear from her because according to the Bible, a man is a man and yes. a woman is a woman. Mm -hmm. But according to the LGBTQ or rainbow family, there are those who claim that they were born gay. Yes. According to your experience, do you think it's, it's true? I think no one was born gay because the initial plan of God was to, he created man and woman. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he, he created them to, to grow up, get into marriage and procreate. Mm -hmm. So God can't 
uh, put some feelings in you when you're being born and you know for you to identify yourself as gay so it comes with the upbringing of exactly somebody. so okay. when you hear someone saying they were born gay mm. just to know their upbringing was either they lacked a father figure mm. or they were, or they were trained yes or raised yes in that way exactly mm. so they no one was born gay mm. and i think once people get to understand no one was born to be because most of the people there they identify them as you know i was born lesbian i was born gay but no one was born like that in It's, other words those people in the, in that community need help yes there are many people out here who are struggling with it but now the mentality they have this mentality of I was born like that mm. there is no way i can but reform but I, i'm here to tell you i also thought i was born like that but i'm here i've reformed i'm mm. a straight person and it's amen. possible to get out of it amen and amen. very soon we'll be attending your wedding amen <laughs> amen amen <laughs> yeah amen. yeah so uh now uh that journey of uh joining the family Yes now uh, after form 4 that is when I came with the full force because after form 4 you have at least the freedom you have all the time with you mm-hmm. so I was attending these classes and I met this gay bottom guy and I was so happy and that is when I realized Shix you not even a lesbian you something different mm-hmm. and now after associating with him I shoot my shot as usual mm-hmm. went and asked him how would you know that this person is part of us there's yeah. a spirit that con- is it there a spirit or is there some connection um i say this that, that life is just spiritual just as how you state it yeah. life is spiritual everything mm. that you do is spiritual right. and before things happen in the physical world they would have already happened in the spiritual world yes. so if you share something you you share spirit because it's a spirit and it uh, gets into someone once you open the door the mm. devil will never attack you just like that you have to open a door you yeah. have to mm. allow him to come in and mm. once you start asso- associating yourself with these things the mm. devil will get a chance in your heart and occupy that space with the spirit mm. so once you have that spirit it's very easy i think you have another eye that tells you you know that is gay and you can't you can even know uh what they like and you know all those things mm. they just having a look at someone mm. yeah so the whole thing is spiritual and the spirits connect and they they communicate yes wow. yeah. and we are spirit beings we are spirit exactly. beings exactly yes. having a physical experience yes. exactly yes. oh wow So now you met with this bottom guy? Yes, yeah, so I met this guy and I felt like I was so comfortable around him though mm. we never got intimate but we were so very in love. The only much thing we could do is just hang around hang you know just do all things together. Mm. And I felt like I'm not even a lesbian. Um I'm a pansexual. A pansexual is someone who, there are people who date within the community. Mm. A lesbian dating a, a gay person, a gay person dating an asexual well, they also do that like a lesbian dating a, a, a male person from the community yes that is pansexuality mm. yes right yeah so that's when i realized you know what you even pansexual and then the more you stay in these things the more you lose your identity completely you don't even know who you are mm. and wow. i think that's a problem that explains and you started by believing that you were lesbian yes. but as you got in you started losing just even your lesbianism and you and you became Something. further confused exactly mm. so and i we think we know that god is not the author of confusion exactly, yes. exactly. and it explains their document the two spirit and all those things that we've been explaining yeah right. oh, wow mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so after that i felt like you're not even you know lesbian now i'm pansexual and even as if that was not enough i would have another identity and now i said okay according to people once you are in, you are in love you have to bring your love to the table and what do you have to offer the intimacy part of it and i felt for me wow. it was i i was not interested in that completely you know growing up you know marriage is for the married so mm-hmm. i think growing up i had that thing in me that was telling me you can't have sex before marriage wow. but for me the devil would confuse me and tell me you know what chicks you're not even pansexual that is an identity you have to identify yourself as something different because you don't have it's not that they are not there but simply because you can't have sex you're mm-hmm. something different and now i started as uh, um identifying myself as an asexual and because an asexual is a bit complex i went deeper to identify myself as a demisexual now there is asexual mm-hmm. and demisexual yes 
explain to a parent who yeah. is uh, wondering. Yeah, wondering. Okay, for the, I, I had uh, explained the asexual is someone who doesn't have the sexual mm. feelings, yeah. is not attracted to people sexually. Mm. You go down to demisexuality, this is where you, you, you love someone or you have feelings towards someone after spending time with them. You know, the, it starts with friendship. The connection comes in with time. You don't find people on the streets any attractive until you have an encounter with them, you stay with them, and that's when you become comfortable around them. Right. Yeah, so I identified myself as that. Until now, I got to campus. I joined my campus back in 2019, September, and that would even change. And I don't know why I was not opening my eyes and seeing whatever is happening is not normal because you're so confused. You, you really don't know who you are. Right. Yes. And I, after joining campus, I would realize, hey, you're not even the demisexual. Because now I would find men a bit attractive. Mm -hmm. But now men from that community or bisexuals or, and all those things. And now I started to identify myself as a bisexual. But now the fact that I, I was not loving men that much, it was more confusing. But I said, anyway, as, <clears throat> sorry, as much as I'm in the community, I'm comfortable. It doesn't matter my label. You know, it reaches a point where you, your identity doesn't matter as long as you under the, the rainbow flag. Yeah. That's everything. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And now, um, quick question. Yeah. Members within the LGBTQ community, are they faithful to one another once they get a partner? I think no. That because is, they are confused. Right. Their person is... Wait a minute. Let, just, just tell me. Okay. That is one of the reasons that made me feel like I shouldn't be part of the family because myself I was so loyal, very loyal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I came to realize it was something different. It, it was same people reading from different scripts because I think that is where uh, unfaithfulness comes in with a lot of pressure. Right. You find, okay, girls who identify themselves as lesbians, uh -huh. they are lesbians, that is what the world knows. But behind the closed doors, behind the closed curtains, mm -hmm. they are sleeping around with men. Because of nature. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you find out that um, this is just an identity, but the real them, yes. it's never coming to the light. But if you get to know the real them, you will actually collapse and die. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah, we found that you know, and very many homosexual uh, homosexuals, they 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 were never faithful to like their partners. They they would have like a hundred, two hundred different partners. You know, yeah. by the end of your lifetime, you've had three or four hundred partners. And then, you know, can you imagine um, that many covenants? Because every time you have sex, that yeah. is a covenant, and that mm -hmm. covenant is forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. like forever, ever, forever, ever, ever. Sure. <laughs> so that means that. That person's generational curses have a legal right yes. to have access into your life. Exactly. And yes. vice versa. Mm. And so, and that person's habits, yes. secret habits, things that they're dealing with that they never told you, yeah. your conversation never got there. Mm. And now you're dealing with things in your spirit that you can't even understand. Yeah. Mm. And that leads to even further confusion, sure. further shame, further mm. hopelessness. They descend into depression. Yeah. We've been seeing a lot of kids out there, especially in the States, that that um, go into such deep depression that, that they end up killing themselves. Yeah. They, mm. they were told that they, that they can decide, if they're boys, they can decide to be girls. And they cut them. Got they went organs. in, got surgery. Yes. You didn't, they didn't have a, an opportunity to, to grow to the point where they can, they can change like her yeah or at least make an adult decision mm. that is informed you know teach them about what will happen if you cut off your genitals mm. what is going to happen to you mm. what kind of suffering will you will you go through mm. hey find out from other people who have gone through the surgical process yeah. mm. what are they suffering now Mm. And did the community rally around them or have they been rejected? Are they on their own now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, according to how she explained, she said that every day or some other day she would find out that she's something else. Yeah. So it's difficult to be faithful in a situation where you don't have an identity. Yes. Exactly. Today you're bisexual, tomorrow you're lesbian, the other day you, you're, you know, you're, you're something else. Mm -hmm. So if you're somebody's partner and Every day you're identifying as something else. You can chances of you breaking that person's heart are oh, high. Yes. Yes. Hi. yes. Yeah. Oh. And now even the worst part is I don't know. I think uh, 
versus they take, um, they have a lot of um, pressure. You know, once you engage in a certain um, verse, you get to find out that it's really affecting you. So mm -hmm. in this whole family, you find out that the toxicity in the relationship is very high. And those, okay, it's easier for you to cheat with someone within the community, mm -hmm. but once your partner real, realizes that you're cheating with someone who is not under the rainbow thing, yes. it can lead to death. It's they that toxic. Kill. Yes, they can kill. Wow. That's the, I think that's what happened to Chiloba because he was, this is a gay guy, yes. a, a, a gay couple. Yeah. And he's no longer interested in this, in this gay guy anymore. Yeah. He wants to, you know, he wants to come out of it. Exactly. And when they found out, they killed him, cut yeah. him to pieces. Yeah. Cut him in pieces, put him in a Metallic box, in box. a steel box. Yeah. And then threw it on the side of the street. Yeah. So where is the caring? Where is yeah. the where is the hey? I mean, even if you break up with somebody, it's like where's let live and let live. Right? Yeah. Like, why do you have to kill, kill somebody? somebody. Yeah. Like, what spirit is the that? Toxicity. Exactly. The level of toxicity is murderous. You mm. know? And, and then the, also those hormones that they, the the hormonal pills that they swallow mm. affect their their hormones. And uh, there is a formal I mean, uh, a lady. She still she identifies as. Um, a man, mm -hmm. yes. She said that from the time she started swallowing those pills to change her hormones, right. she, she's discovered that she has, she's hot tempered. Mm -hmm. she, she just can just get annoyed from like nowhere. Nobody has done anything to her, but these hormones are affecting her. She's growing hair all over her body. She regrets doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah, she thought it would just grow on the face. On the face, but now... But all over the yeah, body. Yeah, because if you give the devil an inch, he's going to take a mile. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And then the voice changed. Now she speaks like a man. Now, mm -hmm. if such a person wants to go back to their identity, the original identity that God has given them, mm -hmm. it becomes difficult. They live in regret and in pain and some end up committing suicide. Yes. You see, and where is the community when this person is killing themselves. They cut themselves off. And then she also mentioned the fact that they identify as a family. Yes. Right. We also identify as a family. As Christians, yes. we identify as a family. Of God. And yes, a family of God. And then also the other thing she said that they don't want a, a person to interact with a person from another family. Of and course. Why are the Christians interacting with the world and bringing the world in the church? Mm -hmm. Why are we accepting the things of the world? Why are some pastors accepting to marry gay couples? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Meanwhile, their own community, they, they have a standard. They have a standard. But they want the church to compromise. And not have a standard. And not have a standard. <laughs> yeah. You know, Josh, uh, James chapter 1, verse 8 says, a double-minded man mm -hmm. is unstable in all his ways. Mm. So you'll find that people who have gender identity issues, any form of confusion, mm. you'll find that that, ex that confusion extends into everything they do. Mm. And that brings instability in everything. Yeah. And there's nothing that brings poverty like mm. instability, sure. mm. inconsistency, and lack of discipline, and mm -hmm. lack of a sure direction, mm. lack of conviction. Oh, wow. And Those the thing is, we get our identity in Christ. Yes. Absolutely. That's the reason as to why she was struggling. Today, she's somebody. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, she's somebody else. Yes. Today, she's uh, Shigs. Yes. Tomorrow, she can change her name. Yes. Because by then, she was not in Christ. Mm -hmm. So she had no identity. The yes. identity we get, we get when we are in Christ. Yes. That's when you're able to tell, I'm a woman. Yes. And I'm supposed to live like a woman. I'm yes. supposed to get married. Oh, my God. Yes. Right. Okay. So continue with your story. Yes. You, mm -hmm. you left at a point when you, you, you started now discovering these things and... Uh, and you would find out you're, you're somebody different. Yeah, so after all that story, because they, uh, there was an identity crisis, you really don't know who you are. You really don't understand what even you feel. Mm. And that is the happiness of the devil, just to make you unstable, mm. undecided, confused, so that even your life won't move on. Mm. And so after I realized I'm not even sure of who I am, I just, as long as I'm under the rainbow flag, Mm. I'm okay with it. So I started living as me. Now it's me. Whatever you call me. You call me an asexual, you call me a lesbian, you call me a trans, I, I wouldn't care. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm part of it. And that continued until now I was out of it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so 
at what point yes. did you feel what happened is there anything that took place that made you feel like you need to change who you are okay first of all looking back i had okay my my parents are very prayerful as i had said they are people who are in the church like they have this connection with god and now the more they would pray the more i would hear some voices you know telling me whatever you're doing is wrong and the more they would pray yes mm. the more they would pray the more it would be like in me she whatever you're doing is wrong what if one day they'll come to realize whatever you're doing what would happen mm. you know those things so i had another voice telling me it's wrong and i think looking back at the things how things were just falling the more they would pray the more my things would if i was dating someone out of nowhere you find out that you're no longer in good terms nothing has happened but the other party is not even willing to talk to you i remember wow. there was one occasion that hurt it hurts even today why that is not normal because i was in a relationship with someone i am this person who if i love i love regardless it doesn't matter who as long as i love so i had loved this woman she was a star and I, out of nowhere she said you know what chicks we can't be together anymore and uh, digging deeper to know why do you want to live and she said you know what you love me more than you love yourself so the love you have for me is more than the love you have for yourself so i can't keep up with that so we just have to part ways and i remember after she told me that i wanted to harm myself i remember i even texted her and told her i gave her my, my mom's number and i told her you know what tomorrow in the morning because i won't be here anymore i want to go call my mom and tell tell her that i died because of you i died out of love i died under the rainbow family and you're the cause just tell them everything that happened and i remember that time when i really wanted to, i was i was asking myself what can i do because the pain was too much what can i do to harm myself and to compensate for that pain because i wanted more pain than i had felt and the only solution that was coming to my head just die but before i i, I did the only solution that was coming to your head was just die, die. Satan wanted yeah. her yeah. to go to it's hell a, it's important that people realize that hey you are as a human being you are literally a an antenna you can catch frequencies you yes. can hear voices you can hear the voice of god yes. and you can hear the voice of demons yes. just like peter who said um uh, told jesus yes you are the son of god you are the son of the most high god yeah. jesus said the flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father which is in heaven mm -hmm. so peter was able to hear from both the father and then two just two minutes later the same peter is telling jesus no don't go and die why would you go and die exactly. like we'll protect you don't forget about that yeah. you know and and jesus turns and says Say, get thee behind me satan, satan. yeah wow. so it's possible for a human being to hear the devil and, and god. god and we need so discernment we need discernment exactly. and one of the major support systems of discernment is the written word mm -hmm. so that if you claim you heard from god because you heard a voice we don't deny you heard a voice mm -hmm. many people say god told me to do this god told me to do this. wait a minute first of all suspect it say mm -hmm. no he didn't because if it's not in his word he didn't say it exactly yes <laughs> yeah yeah true story mm -hmm. and then um you mentioned something about schools right. yes yeah before we even continue to uh, that just stop at that point where your parents were praying and things were going bad yeah. but i found out that in schools is where they are being initiated even more yeah. it's like an initiation ground yeah uh, could there be some schools that are being owned by these uh, LGBTQ family members or Okay, I don't know about owning, but I know mm. um this spirit is attacking even the principals, even teachers you find out that uh, people who who you expect to be responsible of telling you the truth about the whole thing, there are people who are driving you there. Mm. So it's affecting everyone from the principals and the teachers and the whole community. Okay. And in schools, I think especially in high school that is where many people they will find uh, their identity and that is where they are brainwashed because they believe it's a brainwash and they are told that is who you are and you'll hear many people saying you know i i joined the community when i was still in high school yes. all those things because that is where everything lies mm -hmm. that is where you 
you shifting from childhood to adulthood mm. and now whatever you fed with that time is what that sticks and is there any money involved because uh, many people have been talking about the LGBTQ community funding uh, their agenda or promoting it but using money yes yeah so are the family members being paid Okay the people okay I can say if someone lies to you that you'll get good money just um come it's, oh, it's a it's the money is there but it's mm. not for everyone mm. okay there are people on uh, these celebrities we know these are uh, influencers people who have a name people mm. who they have a voice in the society mm. they get the better half of the money mm. but anyway even these ones the down here people will get the money although mm. not a lot of money but they get you know when you still young you don't have the exposure to money so when you given a thousand bob you attend a meeting and you given a thousand bob or 2000 bob yeah. you feel like there's a lot of money and you continue being faithful to that community so a thousand every time you meet yeah just, oh my god just 1000 uh, and then the the men who are the celebrities who are wearing dresses are given a lump sum the men yes. wearing dresses the yeah. men who are wearing dresses <laughs> yes. so is there any celebrity in Kenya a male celebrity in Kenya that you've seen in a dress just put a question mark because they are, they are doing it for 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 you the know, money you know why they're doing it now. yes yeah. and they are promoting it and they are being paid and yeah. the youth that are falling for that deception are being given peanuts yes. for their souls mm -hmm. right oh my god yeah okay so yeah. in high school that is where most people fall into the trap and mm. the parents should be very close to their kids especially when they join school mm. you know so a kid will come home and tell you know what mom i'm not so comfortable with a certain school mm. and because we don't give them this ample space to express themselves you'll be like no you have to stay there but if your kid comes from school and tells you know what mom sit and listen to them because that is where the whole idea comes in Ooh. Yeah. And then we need to be free with our children to a point that they can tell us anything and everything. Yes. yes. Because if if you open that door for them, they can you can easily help them before they before things get out of hand. Mm -hmm. There is a parent who is in a coma up to today. Yes. He's a wealthy man. He wanted to will his inheritance to the son, but the condition was bring the woman that you want to marry and wow. then because the the boy was of age. Mm -hmm. So when the boy accepted the father organized a, a function, invited his friends mm -hmm. to come and meet the son's future wife. And guess who the son brought? A fellow man. And oh that was the end of that man. Mm -hmm. He just entered into a coma. Mm -hmm. So we've seen parents getting shocked. Yes. Not because uh first okay, first of all that thing is so painful. Every parent would want to see their children getting partners and having grandchildren and you know they are They want to see the continuation of their species, yes. of their lineage, of yes. their bloodline, of their name, yeah, of their heritage. A situation where you've educated your child all you all you've done for them is to give them education food yeah. you've not given them time you've not opened the door for them to come and talk to you the enemy has taken advantage of that yes. and what happened to this man mm -hmm. is the fact that the shock that shock he thought he knew his boy yeah. only mm -hmm. for him to find out yeah, that he didn't know, his, he didn't boy know his boy if you don't become friends with your children yes. oh parents yeah. you are opening the door for the enemy to yeah. become their friend they are allowing social media to raise their children right. they are looking for the money yes they are subscribing and their children are being raised and turned into homosexuals and lesbians yeah wow yes. and also they are on on parents i'm always there on parents stop being too harsh on your kids mm. don't be so happy when you see like me shakes walking around with women at, at a certain age where you expect me to be walking with men question that mm. be close to your kids ask them questions ask them who is very close to them because it all starts from there you're happy because you know my kid never walks around with men mm. my kid walks mm. only with men doesn't have girls around but that's where we go wrong mm. so give them space also wow. the space make them comfortable to talk to you about anything and Let everything them, exactly mm. from when they are growing up because you, you don't expect to lay, raise them in a very harsh condition mm. and, that, and then expect they will share anything mm. be free with them as much as you train you know to create the respect let them speak out what they feel yes yeah. okay openness and then also 
uh, parents should learn to pray yes. for their uh, children. Yeah. And pray with your children. Yeah, also. exactly. Oh and God. teach them that life is spiritual. Exactly. Teach them the strategy of the enemy. Yeah. yeah. Let yeah. them come, sit with you, and watch her testimony. Amen. And learn. Amen. 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 And so, please continue. Um, how did life... How did life go as you continued in Now, this lifestyle? Frustration. Right? The, oh, yeah. the mother was praying and she was getting frustrated in the family. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had reached where this, the most hurting part of the whole journey. Mm -hmm. That is when after this girl breaks up with me and it came at an unexpected timing. So it really hurt me from within. And now after I gave her my mom's number and told her, you know, tell my mom all these things. I told her and tell them when they will be burying me, they should Uh, uh, cover my coffin with the rainbow flag because I would have died a champion and uh, she was like okay can you believe that you see the young people they're willing to give their life for something yeah I think parents pastors community leaders need to know that like young people are willing to give their life for something but it has to be real mm. so that's why you know a lot of a lot of young people go to church But if there's if there's scams going on in church, exactly. if it's fake. fake Christianity, yeah. if your parents pretend to be Christians at church, but when they come home, daddy is beating up mommy and beating up the kids and going out and drink. Of course, they're gonna say this Christianity stuff is fake. fake they yeah. won't have anything that is worthy of them giving their lives for because she was ready to die and go to hell and have her casket wrapped in a rainbow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this is the and this is the young energy. Mm -hmm. which is needed in the church mm -hmm. the very young energy that the that god wants because they are the future mm -hmm. but they're being derailed mm -hmm. and why why is it so easy to derail them? they can't find anything that's worthy of giving their lives for mm -hmm. they feel neglected by the older generation yeah. parents not understanding how to convey this war that we're fighting we are mm -hmm. at war yeah. and the young people need to see that there is a war going on and young people need to be inducted into this war yeah, bring, yeah don't bring them into just a church bring them to war prepare them for war that they may know that they're, what they're coming into the kingdom of God is something we give our lives for exactly. and guess what right. every time they meet as lesbians or gay people they are being given something small like mm -hmm. in exchange for their time well I'm not saying that we should buy people into the kingdom but the youth mm -hmm. need support right and if the church does not come out to help if we are waiting for the government and the world to support the youth mm -hmm. then this is these are the results we are going to get mm -hmm. if we came up with projects and programs to empower the youth yeah. employ them yeah. uh, give them skills and hope yeah. how mm -hmm. will they fall for a thousand bob Mm -hmm. exactly. or 2000 bob and it's not like the people in the church are poor god has there are some people that god has blessed, really blessed. with resources yeah. and these people can support these initiatives They can exactly. support the youth programs. Yes. The youth are idle during holidays. Yeah. Where is the church? And mm -hmm. I think, yeah, a lot of the people who are moneyed in the church, in the kingdom of God, hey, reach out to these young people. Give them jobs. Give them something to do. Because if you don't, guess what? Someone else will. Sure. Mm. And if someone else does, then that is at the expense of the next generation. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I think we should give them something to do. Mm. Yeah, so please, Six, continue. Mm -hmm. Um so I was talking about the most hurting point after like I did all that and gave the information I really wanted to get home because myself I couldn't contact my mom and tell her all these things so I told her be the messenger and I really wanted to hurt myself but there's another voice there is a future if she's not the only human being <clears throat> sorry and I think God was trying to communicate something because uh, all that time nothing was working for me with girls And when she told me that and I really wanted to harm myself, I had another voice telling me there's more to life than this. Mm. And I, I didn't harm myself, but I did something crazy. And uh, even right now, if I remember it, then I'd be like, no, that was not me. Mm. Right. Yeah, I just like uh, slept on the, on the floor without no clothes mm. for a whole night. Mm. And I'm just I, I'm still thinking of uh, harming myself should I, because there is um, there's a commotion, you know. Yes. And the soul time. Yes, and there's a war taking place mm -hmm. between the demonic What? which are trying to persuade you of killing yourself so that they can have the legal access yes. to snatch you to hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's the spirit of God saying, "No, don't do this." You know, yeah, there's yeah. life is worth 
more than this. There's more to life. There's more mm. to life than this. Yes. So from there, I think I I now decided should I go now for to the other side because I was too loyal to the Rainbow Family, and mm. I usually regret that because coming to know the truth about it, yes. it it hurts, and I think everyone needs to know. Don't run away from the straight world and come to the Rainbow Family hoping for faithfulness and loyalty. Mm -hmm. You will be frustrated. You will live in denial of everything that you'll find there. Mm -hmm. So um, wow. after that, I I woke up very early in the morning and said, you know what? Whatever, because now you sleep thinking, should I be straight now? Because now this world is now in, you know, you're just in denial of everything. You really don't know who you are. But uh, I didn't. And I realized that the devil really knew I would come to change later. And now he was trying to bring this mentality of die. Because if you die, you'll go to him. And if you change and now start pronouncing God and Jesus, yes. you'll go, you know. So mm -hmm. he knew and uh, he was taking the advantage so that I could go to hell. Mapema ni mapema. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But your mother's prayer yes. saved you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, do you uh -huh. mind telling us who your mother is? We thank her. <laughs> or oh, you don't want to mention her name? Just so we can just say thank you, mom. If it's, mm. uh, yeah. It, actually, um, before she that time she had not known anything that was happening in my life. Uh, you know, it was not as open, but uh, with time, the more she prayed, because it reached a point now could fall sick, like it was so regular. And now my mom was like, this is not physical, mm -hmm. because it reached a point I would go um, unconscious, you know, faint, the so-called fainting, I would faint, you know, you just for a few minutes. And I realized when you faint, you're not just sleeping. There mm -hmm. are things that you're seeing when you're there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you have it or your spirit is gone. Mm -hmm. And now my mom started praying about it because I would go to the hospital and you'd be told, you know what, you don't have blood. How? I'm this person. No explanation. Yeah. So I realized, and my mom was like, no, we must pray and ask God what is happening. Because wow. it was becoming now a norm. You know, you stay somewhere, you faint, you, you, you go to the hospital, you have no blood. And now my mom is asking me, where is the blood going? You're taking a lot of supplements, nice foods, nice diets. You can't afford to lack blood. But I realized there was something else that was going on. And through her prayers, everything was put on the table. And wow. now, yeah, everything and was... And now she knows your story? She and does. how does she feel that you're saved? I think um, she's the happiest. They are wow. the happiest because wow. even my dad came to know about it. And they are the happiest and they are the most proud. Wow. Because the same energy I was giving to the kingdom of darkness because pronouncing all these things and saying, you know, this is the right thing, knowing it's against God's will and it's an abomination even before God, it's 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 not uh, you should you no one can be proud of you as a christian mm -hmm. now when i come out and now tell the truth and say that you know there is life in jesus mm -hmm. they are so happy and proud of it wow well, mama shig thank you so much <laughs> you're her hero we Amen. thank god for you yeah. we pray for long life we pray for for every blessing that god can give amen, amen. oh my god amen. amen wow so now that you have changed yes. from that yeah. and you're exposing this whole deception yes uh, are there some challenges you faced from the time you came out to expose yeah okay mm -hmm. To start with, I thought, okay, come, my coming out was mm -hmm. part of healing because after my parents knew and I underwent the deliverance, the counseling and all those things, mm -hmm. and I decided, you know what, I want to be a changed person. Mm -hmm. I felt like I have come out, but I've, I've left a trail of people who are yeah. struggling with the same thing. Mm -hmm. And because I was a very firm member of the community, I would have an influence mm -hmm. uh, to, to the people I have, I've left behind. So I came out knowing that it would help me to heal because mm. there was damage that was caused in me yes. and maybe even confessing and saying this would help me heal from inside. Mm. And also confession, it clears um, the legal ground of the devil attacking you. Yes. So once you confess these things, even you, the devil won't have a legality in your life, you know. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so I came out knowing so positive with a very positive mind that everything would be well. But to my shock, not everyone was happy the people way. People judge. Yes, uh, mm. from from the people, my friends, before I had close to me, definitely they would point fingers. 
because they knew me as a queer person. It came to a point I was even queer. I would come out as me and everyone who needed to know mm -hmm. knew. And now that I've again pronounced, you know, I'm straight, I'm, I'm no longer part, you'll face a, a lot of criticism mm -hmm. and even threats, even like right now people are calling, we will come for you. I'm just, what is wrong? Wow, mm -hmm. they're coming there. So the LGBTQ community here is sending you threats to yes. harm you. Yeah, actually through calls, so you really can't know. You know, it's mm. confusing. You mm. really don't know who this is. They call using the private numbers. Right. Mm. And then you just like hear a voice telling you, you know what, we're coming for you. And uh, and some will even like text you and tell you, you know what, you're not yet done. So you mm. receive a lot of criticism, threats. Mm. But uh, I think as much as, even if I die, if, okay, you back then, die. I used to say, if I die, I will die a champion, but I would die a champion in the kingdom of darkness. Right. But even if right now I die, let me die pronouncing the, the name of Jesus Amen. and say that. But you will not die still. Yeah. Yeah. You will live to testify of the goodness of the Lord in, in the, the land of, of the, the living. living. We need to see your wedding. Amen. I need to attend your wedding. Yes. Amen. With, Amen. A, with a God-fearing man. Yes. We need to see your mom rejoicing. Yeah. You know? Yes. And she, she's going to sit in front, VIP treatment. Amen. Amen. Yes, we'll make sure she gets that VIP treatment. Amen. Yeah. You know, the enemy really wants to, if you if you really want to understand what the enemy is doing with the LGBTQI mm. plus uh, whole, that whole agenda, it's an anti-Christ agenda. Yes. And it is, it is an agenda to fight what God was doing from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. If you look in Genesis chapter 1 from verse, uh, let's, say just, let's even say from verse 24, the sixth day, and God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after mm. his kind, mm. cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. Mm -hmm. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creeps upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Mm. And God said, let us make man in our image mm -hmm. after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing mm -hmm. that creeps upon the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so verse 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, female. Yeah. created he them. And God blessed them. Mm -hmm. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, multiply. Yeah. replenish the earth, mm -hmm. and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Mm -hmm. So the position that God has given man is not a principality, he's not a power, but he is a dominion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a dominion has power over a domain, meaning that man, mankind is created to be a king, mm -hmm. just like God, yeah. mm -hmm. and to reflect the image and the likeness, the character and the nature of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And so what the enemy wants, because he can't get to God, but he can get to man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he wants to hurt God by changing the image of man out of the image of God, Mm. into the image of the devil, yeah. after his own image. image yeah. Yes, the same image you're talking about is what Elon Musk is introducing. Right. Uh, robots that are to be married by men. Mm -hmm. yes. This whole idea, you know, plus, and they are continuing. They are going to add so many yeah. things. Yeah, so it's going to be LGBTQ. I, uh, Plus do I R. <laughs> the, the, okay, we'll just say the alphabet, the, the gay LGBTQIA alphabet. LGBTQIA plus R robot. Yeah, plus, so they'll have robots too. So they're going to have, in fact, the other species that the Bible prophesies will come. Aliens also. Yeah, will add to that list. So there's going, that list is only going to get longer because when you give the devil an inch, he takes a mile. Sure. So that, and that strategy of his never changes. If you give him just a little opportunity, mm. he's going to blow the door off the hinges. Like exactly. she opened an, uh, just an inch, she felt she was a lesbian, mm -hmm. but she had gotten to a point where she wanted to commit suicide. Yes. So you see the end of following 
the voice of the enemy. Mm-hmm. That is where it leads because he came to steal, kill, kill and, and to destroy. destroy. The Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man, yeah. but the end thereof mm-hmm. are the ways of death. Mm-hmm. So you see, she thought that this way was right. And there's so many who think that this way is right yeah. just because they happen to feel that way at the time mm-hmm. and because that feeling won't get away. Mm-hmm. But I would like to encourage them to let them know that, hey, you might have this feeling, but remember, a human being is an antenna also. Mm-hmm. You can receive broadcast signals and yes. frequencies and vibrations from either the kingdom of God mm-hmm. or the kingdom of darkness. Sure. And so now you need to ask yourself, am I receiving messages or broadcast from the kingdom of God or is this message coming from the kingdom of darkness? Is it yeah. coming from AI? Is it coming from yeah. artificial intelligence? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or is it coming from God, from the word of God, God from yeah. right. the Bible? And, and and don't ask artificial intelligence, they will give you an answer that's not biblical. One mm-hmm. man asked artificial intelligence if he should kill himself, and the AI responded that yes, he he should kill himself. Mm-hmm. It responded in the affirmative. Mm-hmm. And the man took his own life as a result. So oh, wow. yes, yes, yes. So um, some of this, some of these things that we're seeing, because that's going to also add to the LGBTQI. Mm, then there's and then A also, for alien, and then there's AI. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also people who sleep with dead bodies. They will also right. add that one. Right, right. Mm. Especially because once you open the door a little bit, the door is off the hinges now. Sure. And so if a man can marry a man, then a man can marry a child. They have, and they're calling it MAPs. They're mm. calling them minor Maps. attracted persons. Yes. Mm-hmm. So then and you then have what about the dead QIA attracted map. persons? You have, you have the LGBT. <laughs> Q Q maps. I, <laughs> I don't know if they, the minor attracted persons are pedophiles. Yes. It's a person who wants to marry a baby. Yes. Mm-hmm. So now, you know, it, that's also allowed. So now what, what's next? You know, in, in, in other words, it's anything to defile the image mm-hmm. and the likeness of, of God. God. Because, you know, when you see a man and a woman, he said male and female created he them and he blessed them mm-hmm. and gave them dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Mm -hmm. So when the man and the woman come together, Paul said, it is a mystery, but what you're looking at is the image of Christ and the church. Mm -hmm. So when you see man and woman in holy matrimony, you're seeing Christ and the church. Mm -hmm. And so Satan wants to destroy that because he knows that God has blessed that combination. Mm -hmm. And the result of that is be fruitful. Yeah. You will multiply. Yeah. You will replenish the earth. Mm-hmm. You will subdue it. Mm-hmm. And you will have dominion. Mm-hmm. And Satan wants that position called dominion. 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 Yes. And kindly explain about people who identify as animals and as plants. Because mm-hmm. there is a, a man I saw identifying as a plant. I'll just show you the video. I don't remember the exact plant, but he was even looking actually like the plant. Mm-hmm. Right. I've seen people trying to transform and look like cats mm-hmm. one was even uh, one celebrity was even meowing like yeah. a cat yeah. Yeah. is it doja cat yeah yes so there are celebrities now who are promoting this mm-hmm. is it part of the lgbtq family I think it's a different idea, but it will all come to a common ground mm. because as um, uh, Bamboo said, it's trying to push an agenda of the Antichrist. Right. And mm. what uh, the devil is doing is preparing people's minds. So these things, they are all spiritual and they are all leading to the preparation of the Antichrist. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what advice would you give to somebody who is in that family and they want to come out because you, you were lucky, you had your mom and dad praying. But there is this person who wants to get out, but they don't know where to start from. Yeah, so the first thing, and I usually say this, because you can try many other ways, Mm -hmm. but there is only one way out. Jesus Christ, the blood he shed on the cross, that is what redeems us. You can do all your researches and all those things, go for all those sessions, counseling, but the blood of Christ is the only solution that we have. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus said that, how can a man keep his ways pure? How can a young man keep his ways pure? It's living according to the word of God. So Mm -hmm. it's living according to the word of God and seeking to know who is God and how you know how he operates and if you want to get out of it engage christ the blood of christ is everything that you need in your life 
Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You made Amen. me understand what I went through as a youth. Yes. At a certain age, around fifteen, uh, fourteen, yeah. I was dressing like a man. Mm -hmm. I used to put on my brother's clothes. I was a tom tomga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, many parents got concerned, and they spoke to my mom. Yeah. And they were asking, "Is your girl a lesbian?" Mm -hmm. And my mom came to cancel me. She had to go change my wardrobe, buy me clothes that belong to to girls, yeah. and tell me how to dress like a girl. Mm -hmm. But I just uh, did not like this whole idea idea of heels. Up to today, I just wear in on few occasions. Yeah. But I I was not so much used to that. Yeah. But if my parents had not paid attention to that, yes. Looking at what the enemy wanted me to push, because he wanted me to push this whole LGBTQ idea. Mm -hmm. I think that was the trend I was following. That was the path yeah. I was following. But God had mercy on me. Yeah, sure. I thank God. Yeah. Wow. Parents, you need to pay attention to details. Don't just look at your child behaving like a boy. She's she's a tomboy all of a sudden and you start laughing about it. It's not funny. Yes. It's mm -hmm. spiritual. Yeah. Life is spiritual. This is war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The enemy is, is he's fighting for your children. Mm -hmm. He wants to snatch them away from you. Yes. So you have to pay attention to details. Why are they distancing themselves from you? All of a sudden, they just want their space. Why do they want their space? From who? Mm -hmm. What is it that they are hiding? Yeah. Start investigating. Amen. The sooner, the better. And stop being entertained by men who wear dresses. Mm -hmm. It's not funny. Yeah. The devil wants to introduce it to you in a way that will make you laugh. Because if you laugh, you've accepted it. Yes, mm -hmm. it's almost part of like the that. family. Yeah, it's like that Doja Cat video where she's meowing. Wow. Wow. Okay, so something a little different. So what was your inspiration for tonight? Be honest with me and go into detail. What are you excited to see in there today? Wow. Is it your first mat? Wow. I'll see you in there. Wow. <laughs> All right. When somebody looks at it, it seems ridiculous, it seems absurd, it seems funny. You might even laugh. Yeah. But by laughing, you have not rebuked it, you have not said this is wrong, I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. You laughed. And that, now that you're in the you, plus family. That means plus. you are accepting accept of this. And what you don't understand is that if they are willing to combine a man and another man, they've removed God from the equation. Sure. So they're willing also to combine a man and an animal. Mm. And if you think they can't combine, you better think again. You better study microbiology and understand that it is mm. possible. The splicing of species yes. mm. at the DNA level is possible. You can remove one block of DNA and replace it with the DNA of a cat and bring something else mm. yes. into existence. Mm. And that's exactly what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24. He said, as it was in the days oh, of no. Noah, mm -hmm. so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Mm -hmm. What were they doing? They were marrying mm. and giving mm. in marriage. But wait, marrying and giving in marriage is, is normal. It's been that way since Adam. What's so special about Noah's time of marrying and giving in marriage? they were marrying and intermarrying with things that God did not intend them to marry with, mm -hmm. with animals. They were splicing the DNA because fallen angels have, they've always had this technology. Yeah. It's not something new. It's man who seems to be growing in knowledge, but these fallen angels have been have had this knowledge for a long time. Yeah. So if they can splice together the different species, they can give rise to a species that and an image and a likeness that God never intended yeah. and fill the earth with them mm -hmm. and terrorize the children of God with them. Yeah. And Jesus said, had he not cut those days short, there would be no flesh left. Mm -hmm. So just imagine how much this garbage is going to fill the earth. Mm -hmm. and if it's only ethics that can keep the scientific community from splicing man and animals together yeah mm. and then now, what happens when god is removed from the equation mm -hmm. then they'll do it mm. yeah and now this brings me back to the parents i know we are busy looking for money to make sure that our children's lives are comfortable they go to the best schools they get good education and all that but i men 
most especially, are so, so, so busy most of the times. But we the mothers, today you hear me say, my mother did this. She said, my mother prayed. Yeah. Every woman, it's your responsibility to intercede for your family. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Whether you're in good terms with the dad to your children or in bad terms, don't lament. Mm -hmm. Stop or criticizing them and reminding them of how evil their dad is and how bad their family is and how they are taking on their genes and all that. Mm -hmm. Your responsibility as a mother is to intercede for your child. If you intercede for your child, she, your child will always remember and say, it's because of mommy's prayers. Yes. Yes. My mom prayed. Mm -hmm. My mom did something. My mom did not give up on me. Yeah. My mom and also the men because you're so busy looking for money, the enemy takes advantage of that. A man is supposed to be a covering. You're supposed to cover your family. You're supposed to be the head. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to protect and shield your family from such attacks. So even if you're at your place of work, spare some five minutes and speak in tongues. Yeah. When you're going to the bathroom, speak in tongues. Right. Start praying over your children's lives, mm -hmm. declaring what you want to see in, in them, you know, speak to them. Yeah. Whenever you get time, like on weekend, go out with your children. Tell them about this homosexual agenda and, and how bad it is and the consequences. I'm telling you, yes. there, you will never regret. And you parents out there, it is okay to ask God for wisdom, mm. to get wealth. Mm. Why? Because you don't want all your time spent in a career at the expense of your children. Exactly. Mm. You don't want to spend all your time looking for money when God can give it to you in ways you didn't even imagine. Mm. And he can deliver you out of the rat race. Mm. And that will award you, because why are you asking for wealth? For freedom. You are asking for freedom mm -hmm. to be available for your children, yeah. mm. to be available for your family, to mm. teach them the ways of God, mm. to be the official priest and prophet of the home, yeah. to lead them in the way of God. Mm. So if you're able to spend more time with them than the television and more time with them than their friends, yeah. then you can impart, which is the duty of a parent, yes. to impart the nature and the character of God into the child. Mm. That is the whole duty of the parent. Yeah. If you can't, and if you don't do that, if you cannot do that, do not be a parent. Mm -hmm. If you are not ready to impart the mm. nature and character of God into your offspring, mm. do not be a parent. parent. You are not ready. Yes. Thank and God because for you will give an parents. account, you will give an account for that before God. Mm -hmm. he, he, will, he will ask you, I gave you the responsibility of taking care of my image and my likeness, mm. but you were too busy chasing money. Mm. Well, I've given you some wisdom. You can ask God for wisdom. Yeah. You can ask God for a system to build a system that can make money in your absence mm. so that you can be off doing what is more important, exactly. which is raising a godly family. Mm -hmm. And she mentioned something about schools. Yes, if you're born again and you feel this message needs to go to schools, you can reach out. I mean, we need to go to schools. We need to sensitize uh, these students and let them know how dangerous it is to uh, pay attention to the enemy's lies. Wow. In that voice, the voice, the satanic voice. And we know that that is a place where the enemy is initiating mm -hmm. these people and grooming them to be whatever he wants them to be exactly. because they are away from their parents and mm -hmm. there are so many and it's difficult to concentrate on all of them. They are in thousands. Mm -hmm. Even if a teacher is so strict, you can't know what is happening in every child's life at a personal level. Yes. Yes. These children need to know that life is spiritual and that they are responsible for every choice and decision they make in life. Mm -hmm. So if you're a parent and if, I mean, a teacher, a director of a school and you feel like you need this information, you can reach out. I mean, we are ready. Amen. And, and also, don't allow, if they're under 18, do not allow your children on social media. Mm. It is the worst playground. It's mm. the playground of the devil because the enemy will teach them iniquity, mm. wickedness, nakedness, TikTok. materialism. There's a reason why TikTok in China is different from TikTok in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. TikTok in China teaches young people to be astronauts, to be scientists, exactly. to be physicists, mm. to be biologists, to be innovators. They mm. will not allow, allow immorality on TikTok mm -hmm. in China. Mm. But in the rest of the world, it's garbage. And I dare parents, hey, I encourage you, go out there, 
find out what your kid is talking about on WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Find out what they're talking about on TikTok. Find out who they follow and what are they looking at. Yeah. Who is shaping your child's world? Mm-hmm. Find out you have every right to spy on them. Mm-hmm. They live in your house. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. even spying, it's parenting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they live in your home. So you yes, have a right to check their phones and yeah, check. Yeah, they should young people if they're under 18, you need to be you need to know everything that's going on in that phone. Mm. And it's possible to clone a phone. Mm. So that whatever communication your child is receiving, you're also receiving it. Yeah. Mm. Because if they hey, there are no secrets in the home mm-hmm. <laughs> that the parents should not know about. Mm-hmm. The parents should be the one in the know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so you need to know that, they are friends. Yeah, you take charge of the situation. Otherwise, the situation will take charge of you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Amen? Wow. Yeah. So it's it's possible to train up a child in the way he should go mm-hmm. so that when they are grown, they will exactly. not depart from, from it. it. Train yeah. them. That Amen. training is like an athlete. You mm-hmm. are training an athlete. Mm-hmm. An athlete doesn't just eat hamburgers and french fries every day mm-hmm. an athlete eats the best food you feed an athlete you feed a thoroughbred you see like a thoroughbred horse mm-hmm. it's like t- 10 or 20 million dollars mm-hmm. you don't just feed it on anything on a regular hay like you feed the donkeys mm-hmm. you feed it with the best nutritious food mm-hmm. that can strengthen it that can give it the best health the, the minerals that it needs yeah. and the nutrients that it needs the vitamins that it needs mm-hmm. to build the best muscle tone so yeah. That's the same way you raise thoroughbred children. Mm. Yeah, by training them and giving them the best content, the best information that can cause them to excel in mm. life. Yeah. Mm. You uh, also mentioned something that is very important. Mm-hmm. She said that uh, when they are very young is when they need attention. Yes. Is when you can um, is when you can teach them the ways of the Lord when they are very young because when they mm-hmm. become teenagers they start identifying themselves but now they, their identification the way they were raised matters a lot yes. because those who say they were born lesbians or gay the way they were raised has a very big impact yes. on how they feel when they are at a a place where they have to make choices. Mm-hmm. So they because they've been raised in an environment where they are watching gay couples and they are feeling it's right and you know that whole idea of them feeling that they were born gay comes from that angle. Yeah. So when they are young, instead of taking them to Sunday school to play on swings mm-hmm. or to play with toys, teach them the word. Yes. Let your children know how to cast out devils. From when they are, I want my baby, my Zoe, to start casting out devils from four. Mm-hmm. From when she's of an age where she can understand that if I say, get out in Jesus' name, mm-hmm. a demon gets out. Yeah. I'll give her a try. She has to try. Why do we send them away? Hide them. Jesus said, let the little children come. Mm. For such is the kingdom of God. Yes. My grandmother initiated me by eight. I was a high level sorcerer by eight. Mm-hmm. Why are you hiding them away from from the kingdom, Mm -hmm. from the kingdom things? Why are you saying these adults are praying? No, no, let them speak in tongues. The children can speak in tongues too. Even before, there's there's a lady we spoke to. She said her child was speaking in tongues before she could speak English. Yes. (laughs) Yes. So look, the child can speak in tongues. Let Mm. me lay your hands on that child, pray with them. Let them start by mimicking. Let them see you doing it. Yeah. 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 Let them be in the room while you're doing it, even if they're playing around with things. That's okay. So be it. Mm. You know, set the set the environment for them to be comfortable. Yes. But let them see you praying. Let them see you doing it because Mm. they will they will begin to understand that this is what adults do another and way and they're imitating everything mm-hmm. right. another way of training them is this when you're not feeling well as a parent call your children tell them how you feel tell them mommy's having a slight headache would you please lay your hands on mommy and pray for mommy to to mm-hmm. recover mm-hmm. and then the child will lay their hands and pray for you mm-hmm. and then you take your medication mm-hmm. and when you recover you thank them tell them hey thank you for praying for mommy mm-hmm. do you know that mommy is feeling better yeah you know Mm-hmm. You're, you're training them to look to Jesus as the solution to their problems. Exactly. And you're training them to be independent. When they grow and they get in a situation where they have children and their children are sick, before they run to hospital, they'll be praying. Mm-hmm. It is now, it's coming into their subconscious mind that whenever we have a problem, 
we pray. Whenever mommy had a problem, she would yeah. call me to pray for her. Mm-hmm. So whenever somebody is in trouble, I pray for them. Yes. You're training them in the ways they should go. Mm-hmm. And when they grow, and they, they get those voices, they will not depart. Yeah. They will rebuke that voice. They will yeah. kneel down and pray. They will call you and say, Mommy, I got this voice telling me that I am a man, yet I'm a girl. Mm-hmm. Please pray with me. Exactly. Because that is how you've trained them. Mm-hmm. And that's how they are growing. Yeah. Oh my God. And also to add on that, I wanted to say that the devil usually doesn't come, or he doesn't represent himself as this bad person. The devil will come in a very sweet way, a very mm. enticing way. Mm. And you have to have like the gift of discernment mm. you have to design because uh, things will happen and uh, you know to kids who doesn't who are very innocent they won't know this is the devil and this is god so let, let's uh, teach our kids that the devil will also come in a nice way not everyone who is gifting you out there loves you you know mm. not everyone who is smiling at you and telling you you're pretty He's means it yeah. yeah so we have to teach them that uh, Discernment is everything because mm-hmm. the devil will never come and tell you, you know what I'm here I'm the devil. I even see people saying the devil looks bad. No, no, the devil looks good and he will come smiling at you. Yes. And once you know that the devil will never come as this wild thing, mm. now you'll start to design. Exactly. Yeah. The devil can come as a very good-looking man. Yeah. Or he can come as a very good-looking lady. Yeah. He can come in. Okay, because when you see that in the LGBTQI movement, whether they know it or not, the mm-hmm. God they are worshipping is the Baphomet. Mm. And Baphomet is androgynous, mm-hmm. meaning that Baphomet has both male and female private parts. Mm-hmm. So he has has a male part and then it also has breasts mm-hmm. and it has the head of a goat. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. So this thing called the Baphomet, it desires that up should be down, down. And that down, down should, should be, be up. up. Yeah. And you see them posing like this. Should be bad, uh huh, and mm-hmm. bad should be good. When you see Baphomet, what is he doing? He has one hand up, and, and he has the other one down, down. like this. Yeah. In fact, there was a Jamie Foxx movie. Sometimes with Car- you saw the Jamie Foxx cover this movie with Jamie Foxx. We didn't watch the movie, but I saw the poster, mm-hmm. and he's posing like this. Mm-hmm. Or she, she has the ladies. They're posing back to back with Kerry Washington, mm-hmm. and Kerry Washington has her hand up like this. And he has his hand down. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and there's Lupita. even yes, there's a Lupita Nyong'o picture with she has one hand up and another yeah, hand down. down. Yeah. And yeah, Beyonce has done it too. And and oftentimes, Rihanna. and I, and we were talking about symbolism. And if you don't understand symbolism, yes. you mm-hmm. won't understand a lot of the signs that are all around you, even in exactly. society, on, yes. on the television screen, in movies, mm-hmm. or what have you. They're all around you. So. This Baphomet desires, whenever somebody worships the Baphomet, Mm -hmm. good becomes bad, bad bad becomes becomes good. good. And it's important that you understand that not every thought that you have Mm -hmm. is you. Mm. There are thought demons only communicate through thought. They don't communicate or they usually do not communicate audibly. Yes. Mm. And even God communicates to you through your spirit. It mm-hmm. will arrive yes. as a thought. Yeah. In fact, we'll do a, an entire series on symbolisms and signs and logos. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. We need to do that. Mm. So this Baphomet seeks to be worshipped, seeks to uh, pervert the mm. image of God. And, mm. it, and it needs to be understood that whenever people get God out of their minds, mm. what happens is that perversion sets in. Mm-hmm. And... Ask, and somebody should ask themselves, why is it across the board, no matter where you go, no matter what country, no matter what culture it is, if God is not in all of their thoughts, mm-hmm. what happens is perversion. perversion. Mm. It comes in, it doesn't matter what culture, mm-hmm. what color, mm-hmm. what race, what creed, what tribe. Mm-hmm. As soon as you turn away from God, as soon as you don't have God in all your thoughts, you become perverted. Yeah. Mm. Let's read from let's read from Romans in closing. Um, amen. From verse eight. Mm. Now let's read from verse eighteen. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, mm. who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. Mm-hmm. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. In other words, he's saying that just look around. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Let's look at creation. Look at mm-hmm. the trees. Look at the hills. Look at the mountains. Look at the sky. Look at creation. It is all testifying of his eternal power mm-hmm. and Godhead. Mm. It is all testifying that there is a creator and he formed all things. Mm. So because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because he's he's saying that creation is automatically testifying mm-hmm. and saying that there is a god and all of creation is glorifying god so you should join with creation mm-hmm. and glorify god sure. now because that when they knew god they glorified him not as god neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations mm-hmm. and their foolish heart was darkened Mm-hmm. professing themselves to be wise they became fools have you noticed that the lgbtq community always come always uh, presents themselves as if they're very free thinking with very yeah. big very Na- intellectual international organizations to, yeah they try to, them. they try to position themselves as freedom fighters and yeah. oh they don't understand us uh, so human rights yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are trying to push their agenda like people are not accepting us they are not embracing everything we're doing we, they, exactly yes. 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 yes and then if you disagree they say why are you so full of hate <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, right. It's yes. yes, exactly. Yeah, Meanwhile, it's not that we are full of hate. Um, we hate what's wrong and we love what is right. Exactly. And you cannot in, in introduce what is wrong mm-hmm. and then ask us why we hate, why we're full of hate. Yeah, we're full of hate for what is wrong. wrong Look yes. at what she went through when she was there. I yeah. mean, that is exactly what we hate, what she went through yeah. when she was there to a point of wanting to commit suicide. Yeah. That is exactly what we hate. But we mm-hmm. love, we love her. We love those people that are there, but we hate the lie. And we mm-hmm. hate, and we hate the jealousy that is among them and the unfaithfulness that is among yeah. them. Mm. One homosexual will have 400, 500 partners. Yeah. Like Chiloba's family when 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 Chiloba died, you know, where was the LGBTQ community to to support his family mm-hmm. to pay for the casket, to mm-hmm. pay for the funeral service, to yeah. pay to pay for um, the embalming uh, process mm-hmm. of the body. They did they you know and and he was dismembered, you know what I mean? Mm. They, they don't want to know like Mukisha, you know, all, all, Mukisha, as soon as you Elijah die, you're gone, say, out of sight, out of mind. And mm. that's so wrong. Mukisha, Sir Elisha say that the moment he found out that he was infected with an incurable sickness yeah. they pushed him out of the community mm-hmm. you see now what happened i thought we were family yes yeah. so <laughs> yes. so what happened no more right. funding yeah exactly so it never was a family it's a cult yes mm. it has all of the symbols all of the the um the doctrines of a cult mm-hmm. you can't leave a cult sure. mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah because if you leave they claim they'll kill you mm-hmm. but the truth is if you leave and you enter into Christ God will preserve you from them mm-hmm. so if you're in a cult you can escape yeah. amen. amen so verse 22 professing themselves to be wise they became fools mm-hmm. a lot of the, a lot of the you know um, the people that speak for the LGBT, LGBTQ community profess themselves to be wiser mm-hmm. than everybody else they're wiser than the scriptures they're wiser than god god is god created male and female but they 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 presume themselves to be wiser than god there's not and say there's not just male and female mm-hmm. there's there's male and female or there's just uh female and male or there's 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 like doja cat now there's like yes. morphing things you know there's not what god created it's whatever goes it's anything goes you yeah. know, like what they want to remove is god the boundaries that god has set so that the enemy can have full access, access. verse 23 and change the glory of the uncorruptible god into an image made like unto corruptible man mm. and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things mm-hmm. they were defiling everything yeah. genesis 6 mm-hmm. the fallen angels were defiling all of creation verse 24 wherefore god also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves mm-hmm. who changed the truth of god into a lie and worshiped the and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever mm-hmm. amen for this cause god gave them up unto vile affections mm-hmm. for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature mm-hmm. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly that which is unseemly means sodomy yeah, yeah men with men and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet mm. during the process of sodomy spirits are trans- transferred from point A to point B 
Yeah. Generational curses, mm -hmm. sicknesses, incurable diseases, yeah. all manner of wickedness. She uh, said she went through deliverance. Yes. Mm. Wow, wow. Mm. She, you went see? Through. she had yeah. to go through deliverance. You through if you're the deliverance. there, you have to go through deliverance. Yeah, there's no way you can continue in the LGBTQ world without there being spirits in you. And mm. if you're in that community, just know that Jesus loves you. He's calling you out from among them. Yeah. And ask yourself this question. Hey, is Jesus real? Jesus, if you're real, please show me. Mm -hmm. If Jesus is real, let these spirits leave me yeah. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, just things like that. You'll, you'll find that there's changes taking place. Mm -hmm. You'll realize that there's a war. There's a war. There's a tug of war taking place. And that tug of war is for your soul. Mm -hmm. The spirits were drinking her blood when the mom was praying because there was a battle. Yes. She had what to go through deliverance. When you, when, when you were in deliverance, what took place? Okay, I think of the deliverance was... Um, uh, it didn't take a day. It mm -hmm. was something that was uh, took, some took some time, day by day. And right. I think the last prayer, once I decided, like you know what, I'm no longer part of this. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like I had, I was carrying something, or I had something in me right. that disappeared. Once mm -hmm. I, I accepted that. I'm ready to be out of this thing, yes. and then we incorporated that with prayers, and okay. I felt like I was relieved, and something had left, and from there, everything is okay. Amen. Amen. So you can just take notice of that. Number one, she made a decision. Mm -hmm. Enough is enough. I want out of this cult. Yeah. And then number two, we combine that with a prayer exactly. of deliverance, yes. and that was it. Mm -hmm. She's been free. It was mm -hmm. a process. But there's light at the end of, of the, the tunnel. tunnel. Before and she wow, also said that, it? before even the deliverance, she had uh, that issue of losing blood all the time towards her time of getting fed up of the whole thing. Yes. Right. Yes. I also had the same. Dem towards my deliverance, demons were sucking blood because mm -hmm. that is life. Mm -hmm. They were sucking yes. life out of me. Yes. Yes. I was anemic. Mm -hmm. They take me to hospital. They just say she doesn't have enough blood mm -hmm. right. yet. Your parents are feeding you. They're yes. giving you everything. everything. Yes. Yeah. That happens, right? Those are signs. If, if you see your child just getting those kinds of things, yes. it is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Start engaging in spiritual warfare. Exactly. Mm. So, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, mm -hmm. look at the result of removing God from your knowledge, mm -hmm. removing the, the, the thoughts of God, the word of God from your mind. Mm -hmm. The result is God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Mm -hmm. Reprobate simply means, you know, like my grandmother's feet, she never used to wear shoes. So <laughs> the bottom of her feet became rock hard. Mm -hmm. They used to be soft, now they're rock hard. Those feet are reprobate. <laughs> All right. So God gave them over to a reprobate mind. They mm. used to be reasonable. They used to be, mm. you know, amenable to reason. Yeah. However, God had to give them over to a reprobate mind. They became hardened mm -hmm. in their ways. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing to do with God. Yes. Forget you and your God. And you'll find that they often blaspheme. Mm -hmm. well, trying, people, we're, after they hear her testimony, they call her and threaten to kill her. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. T and I were trying to have a discussion with this lady who I told you from Lynn's show. Yes. I, don't, I, I, I can't remember her name off the top of my head right now. But mm -hmm. yeah. So while we were trying to just explain that, no, God didn't you know, he doesn't expect this of you. Mm -hmm. She really blasphemed God. Yes. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Mm -hmm. They blaspheme God. Are you sure you yes. want to be, if you're in the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. are you sure you want to be in a community that blasphemes God? God. Yeah. Are you sure you want to be in a community that hates Jesus Christ and seeks to have him defamed and blasphemed. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to be that? Because you're taking a side here. Mm -hmm. And we're telling you that there is a war between the kingdom of God and the kingdom, kingdom of, of darkness. darkness. Mm -hmm. And you're taking a side to blaspheme God. I thought this was just about being in a family. Mm -hmm. Now you're blaspheming? Like, what is this about? Yeah. So you need to investigate that. Mm -hmm. So God gave them over to a reprobate mind. A grandmama's feet mind mm. <laughs> to do those things which are not convenient. Mm. Being filled with all unrighteousness. <laughs> Look at the result of this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It results in being filled with all unrighteousness. Yes. Fornication, mm -hmm. wickedness, covetousness, mm. maliciousness, mm. full of envy, mm. murder, debate. Murder, that's what happened to Chiloba. Yeah. This is exactly what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Debate. 
they, they want to go back and forth with you. Who who told you that your God has a right to tell me what to do? Exactly. Who told, oh, wait a minute. God told created that I need a man in order for <laughs> me to have a child. A, I don't need no man. Yeah. And to see have a child. Their fingers, they're snappy with it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. Unrighteous, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, I mean, sleeping around, unfaithfulness. You are guaranteed if you're in that community, nobody is faithful to nobody. Sure. Everybody's sleeping around mm-hmm. because you don't have the power to remain faithful, faithful. because mm-hmm. faithfulness is an attribute of the fruit of the Spirit mm-hmm. of God. Mm-hmm. So you cannot be faithful without God. Sure. So there is no faithfulness in that community. Mm-hmm. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, mm-hmm. full of envy, mm-hmm. murder, debate, deceit, lying to one another. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I wasn't with so and so. Yes, yeah. you were. You were sleeping with him. Mm-hmm. Malignity, whisperers, backbiters, mm-hmm. haters of God, despiteful, proud, boaster. Pride. Uh-huh. You know that's their motto. Yes, their yes. Pride. Proud. proud, pride, right. right. And and the that fallen angel or that that demonic being called Leviathan mm-hmm. is listed in the book of Job. He is the king of those children of pride. pride yes. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you see them they holding signs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, man. You, you, yeah, that community has a lot of sex toys, has pills that turn a man into a woman mm-hmm. this, like you mentioned a mo- woman lubricants taking, taking pills yeah that now they have she has she's covered in hair because she thought she was going to grow a mustache <laughs> but the whole body turned into a mustache it's like wow haters <laughs> of god despiteful proud ba- proud boasters inventors of evil things mm-hmm. disobedient to parents mm-hmm. right like yes. when you chose that lifestyle yes. you had to turn against your parents sure without understanding covenant breakers mm-hmm. without natural affection mm-hmm. implacable that means cannot be reasoned with you mm-hmm. cannot reason with this person mm. unmerciful like they did to Chaloba they yeah. cut him in pieces a person who can go and merciful. cut off their breasts cannot sympathize with oh, anybody yeah. <laughs> yeah once you yeah and satan the kingdom of darkness demands self mutilation mm-hmm. you cut off this part you'll cut off that part and mm. as you do so the pain that you suffer pleases the enemy exactly. the more pain that you suffer from the more the enemy is happy, happy yeah. because he thrives in your pain so yes. they don't want he to feasts see. off your depression the energy that you supply mm. from the negativity of the situation is mm. what he's feeding on that's why mm. he's drawing you into that lifestyle as so re- he can feed on you as okay. a result they don't want to see any other person happy that's why they molest the, the innocent yes. Yes. yes and many lgbtq started because they were molested usually by someone who they were supposed to trust exactly. somebody who was hurt we hurt someone someone else exactly mm-hmm. and that is so sad and you can get help you need to get help don't just let your life be derailed because you were abused as a child don't mm-hmm. let your life be derailed just because somebody molested you mm-hmm. yeah the enemy used that as a strategy to traumatize you to pull exactly. you away from god mm-hmm. but don't fight god fight sin mm-hmm. exactly so without understanding covenant breakers without natural affection implacable unmerciful who knowing the judgment of god that they which commit such things are worthy of death mm-hmm. not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them mm-hmm. so when the bible says they're worthy of death it doesn't mean that christians should go and kill them mm-hmm. no, no, no 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 it has nothing to do with that we're instructed to the even love the consequence of their act yeah mm-hmm. the consequence of this thing the, those spirits that will enter you they begin to feed on you mm-hmm. right and, and they make you to feel suicidal exactly. yes it will lead you to a form of depression mm-hmm. and let me tell you if you are at that stage and many of them are cry out to Jesus exactly. he can deliver you depression is a spirit it's a dark cloud mm-hmm. wants to isolate you mm-hmm. and begin feeding you with thoughts of suicide don't let it do it because the next stage is suicide and you will go straight to hell. Mm-hmm. That's what those demons want. Yeah. So talk to them. Don't think you're alone in that situation. Talk mm. to those spirits and say, "Leave me alone in the name of Jesus." See what will happen. Exactly. See how the environment can change mm. when you play worship. See how there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You can come out from that darkness. Mm-hmm. But if you just give up, you'll find that place. You'll find yourself in a place where there is no return. Sure. Once you cross the threshold from life onto death once you have died there's no coming back sure. most people don't make it back especially mm-hmm. 
after they've been warned, mm -hmm. you do not come back. You'll be in that place forever. Jesus said it is appointed unto man once to die. Mm -hmm. And after this, the judgment. So Satan wants you to die in your sin because he knows he'll have you legally. Mm -hmm. Don't let him get you. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. Mm -hmm. Throw the name of Jesus in his face. Let sure. him feel it. Mm -hmm. Burn him with the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Every time you use that name in prayer, he gets burned. You burn those demons those demons wanted to burn you yes had you fallen into hell they would show you no mercy oh, they'll sure. laugh at you and mm -hmm. show you no mercy so mm -hmm. you show them no mercy and burn them with your prayers amen, mm -hmm. and then, amen. before we even conclude because that's where we are heading are there some pastors that you know that uh don't mention them that are being funded by this lgbtq communities to push that agenda. There was something I was about to say in relation to that, mm. that nothing from the devil comes for free. Right. So you find out that most of these celebrities, these pastors, mm. a lot of people are going there to seek maybe attention from the people. And you mm. see, even the church, there are people who, if you ask those people who have ever been there, they will tell you, like they meet big pastors over there and the devil will never give you anything for free. That you have to understand. Mm. And once these pastors, they go there, they want a bigger con congregation, they mm -hmm. want to get the fame and all those things, mm -hmm. you must be given an assignment. Mm -hmm. And most of these people who do this thing and they are celebrities, they are on an assignment. And if you don't fall for their trap, they will kill you. Because mm -hmm. they have offered something. Maybe they, they've sold their soul to the devil for them to gain that. And they mm -hmm. are coming here to initiate you to LGBTQ because that is the assignment they were given. Mm -hmm. And if they are uh, resisting, they will kill you. So these wow. people, most of these things you hear, oh, he was killed because he refused all these things. Because there's someone who was trying to do that on them, they were on assignment. And mm. it's a payback to the devil. Mm. We give you the fame, we give you the money, mm. then for your word, all we need, initiate people mm. to this antichrist movement. Mm. Yeah. So pastors Those out there... Those cross-dressers, they are not just cross-dressing. There, mm. there must be something behind that. It's there is not an what we see. Yeah, there is a man I see in Kenya dressing like a woman these right. days. And yeah. The mother is in support of that. Yes. So they are, they are pushing an agenda. An agenda, yes. Oh, wow. Listen, pastors out there, beware of getting funding from human rights NGOs. Mm -hmm. Beware, beware, beware. Because mm. if you take their money... Hmm. You think that you're just going to build your super cathedral, yeah. your super mega church mm -hmm. for and Jesus. And hospitals. But what you are building is not something that has been birthed by God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is something that has been birthed by Antichrist. You will have sure. your super mega church mm -hmm. and it will be full of defilement. Sure. Mm -hmm. One pastor in Uganda took their money. Mm -hmm. But when he got home, mm -hmm. he found his daughters sleeping with each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't think and he that signed bite. it in America. Yeah. He came back. Mm -hmm. The children were in Uganda. They were lazy. They are, the spirit is not mm. limited don't, by distance. Don't, exactly. Don't think that you're going to take the devil's money and not oh. get what comes with it. Mm -hmm. It comes with energy. Mm -hmm. It comes with spirits. Mm -hmm. Money is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Anything you take it better be clean because if it's not clean, it's coming with spirits and spirits have desires. Mm. Spirits have insatiable lust. Yeah. Mm. And they will not stop until they get what they want or they're cast out. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And that means you have to take back the money. Mm -hmm. That means they'll come for their property. They'll come for their buildings. Don't mm. get yourself into something you can't get yourself out of. Yeah. I'd rather have my soul than have a mega church. Exactly. Mm. Amen. 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 So, amen. Amen. So it is important to know this is an antichrist agenda. Mm -hmm. LGBTQ, that is the agenda of the antichrist. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 11, verse 37, that the antichrist himself has no desire for women. Mm -hmm. and we'll post that in there. We'll make sure that they can see that verse. Mm -hmm. He has no desire for women. Mm -hmm. So he can rule in an environment where the boundaries that God has set in his word have been removed. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're pushing this agenda. Yeah. They will not stop. So the watchers, the, the, the intercessors, mm -hmm. the body of Christ should also be relentless mm -hmm. to prevent the enemy. Don't let him get comfortable and don't say that we're yeah. over here hating. Mm -hmm. We're not hating. We're not full of hate. We're full of love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this message is not here to, is, we're not 
having this interview so that we can castigate anybody. Mm -hmm. Come out from among them. So exactly. we're, if we're welcoming you into the family of God, Christ, yeah. you cannot call that Hateful. discrimination. Mm -hmm. We're welcoming you in. So mm -hmm. how is that discrimination? Yeah. This is a clean house. Mm -hmm. Everybody who comes in here leaves it's their welcome. shoes at the door. Yeah. They leave their muddy shoes outside. Mm -hmm. That means they repent and they come in and mm. everybody who repents is welcomed into the family of God. Yeah, so man. there is no such thing here mm. as discrimination. Yeah. In, in other words, don't come here and tell me to wed you with a fellow woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you're a woman. And and don't don't tell us that you want to come into God's house with your muddy shoes. Exactly. No, everybody took off their shoes. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking for special treatment? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And why are you claiming that you should have special treatment in the house of God mm -hmm. and that we should change our ways? Mm -hmm. Now you are trying to change us. Not only do you want to be gay, but you want to impose that homosexuality onto oh, others. Our children. Yeah. yeah and and onto you don't want children. us to say anything about it. Mm -hmm. And also they want to change laws and yet laws affect generations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to have children, yeah. then why are you trying to change laws that will directly affect my children? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. And if the society continues being gay, mm -hmm. what will happen is that the population will be decimated. Yeah. Yeah. The population will be decimated. So the enemies of your people, and we're speaking to nations, mm -hmm. the enemies of your people will insist on this agenda Mm. because it is consistent with population control. It is anti-God. Remember yes. what God said? Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, mm -hmm. subdue and have dominion. Keep growing, keep keep increasing in your population. Have mm -hmm. children, have plenty of children. Mm. God has plenty. The very God who told you to multiply and replenish the earth also knows how he's going to provide for you. Yeah. So don't tell us about, oh, there's not enough resources. There's mm -hmm. more than enough resources. We serve the God who is more than enough. You cannot possibly consume all of the resources. Mm -hmm. There's more than enough for us to be 10 billion, 20 billion. God mm -hmm. did not say stop at 10 billion or 5 billion. Mm -hmm. He said be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue and have dominion. Mm -hmm. If there's scarcity, it's artificial scarcity by greedy men. Mm. But there's more than enough. Yeah. And that's why God wants us to be generous. Yes. Be generous with people. Be generous, to, especially to the poor. Mm -hmm. Many of you Christians, your finances are locked up. Be generous with the poor. You'll mm -hmm. be amazed how God unlocks your, your, your finances. Talking about generosity, yeah. what we decided to do as World Share Foundation, uh, in conjunction with Life is Spiritual, yes. is to gift yes. every guest of ours. You know, we are not just uh, receiving, but yeah. we give. Mm -hmm. yeah. And whatever we receive, we receive to give. Yes. Yes. We, we, bless, we bless people because God has blessed, blessed us. us. Mm -hmm. So we would love to gift <laughs> our guest yeah. Wow. Yeah, with uh, Life is Spiritual T-shirt mm. and the Life is Spiritual hoodie. You can just show our family. Right. And uh, yeah, just Ooh. to thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> yes. So I very guess nice. It could be your size. I don't know. But wow. you can just check it out. <laughs> yeah. And this. And then. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. We'll be bringing her more often. Oh my God. It's wow. pretty. Life is spiritual, wow. guys. Wow. Spiritual. Life is spiritual. Yes. Ooh. We just want the whole world to know wow. that, that life, life is, is spiritual. spiritual. Yes. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Amen. You keep spreading the gospel. Life is spiritual. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, and then to also thank all the people that have supported the World Share Foundation. Yes. Thank you so much for feeding those people, for sheltering them, and whatever you do. And Sheikhs, would you say a prayer for... A, a the, lesbian or for somebody out there who's in the LGBTQ community? Mm. And just a final word for... Um, that community from where you came. Yeah. Mm. So first of all, to close the whole thing, let me let me say that uh, Christ is open to everyone. Mm. It's not he's not limited to the Christians. He's not limited to anyone. He's mm. open and his blood is everything that you need. Mm. And also for those people who blame the background, oh my dad used to fight my mom. Oh, the devil will always give you excuses. Yes. But if you are in need of change forget about all those things. Whatever happened in the past, you were molested and all those things, mm -hmm. forget about it. Just yeah. seek Christ. And in Christ, there is peace. Mm -hmm. And also for the parents, 
let's create space for our kids to speak up themselves. When mm. we mold them, when they are still young, they will grow up knowing the truth about everything. Mm. And when they grow up, they will stick to that. That is what has helped me even right now because I was brought up in church. Let's show them the right way. And when they grow up, they will never forget about it. Yeah. And for anyone who is seeking to change, Christ is there. The blood of Christ is powerful. Imagine in the mention of the name of Jesus, Jesus. the demons they tremble. Yes. What more do you need? You mm. don't need anyone to to give you like it's only the blood of Christ. Mm. And if you're out there and you're struggling with this, you can reach out. We can't lack our way out of this. There is hope for everyone who is in there. Amen. 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 Would you pray so for a them? word of prayer? Yeah, let's mm. say a word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before thy presence this time. Yes. We thank you for the beautiful time that you ha we have had sharing your word and opening the eye of our viewers, my God, my Father, so that they can know the truth and the truth shall set them free, my God, my Father. Mm -hmm. For those people who are struggling out there with homosexuality, my God, mm -hmm. may you open their eyes, my God, my Father. May you open their spirits, my God, my Father, to receive from you, my Father. Mm -hmm. May you give them this heart that desires to know you better. Yeah. May you give them this heart that <clears throat> is ready to accumulate your, the Holy Spirit, my God, my Father. May you always be there for them, my God, my Father. And even when they call upon your name, my Father, always be there to hear them, my God. Mm. Always <clears throat> protect us and protect everyone who is watching us, my God, my Father. Mm. And always give us a reason, my God, to preach you and mm. also to get someone out of the, the track of the devil, my Father. Mm. Be with them, protect them, my God, my Father. And may you open their inner eyes so that the, the inner eyes and the in, inner ears, my God, my Father, so that they can know your will in their lives, my God, my Father. For those who have been trapped, my God, my Father, remember mm -hmm. them and always be with them. For us who are out, my God, my Father, keep giving us the energy, my Father, to reach out to many people, my Father, and share mm -hmm. your word and your will for humankind, my Father. Mm -hmm. We thank you, we glorify your holy name, and as we even part our ways, my Father, be with us and protect us, my God. Keep uniting us in peace and love, my Father, for the glory and honor of your kingdom. And mm -hmm. it is in the mighty name of Jesus we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. In case you have any question relating to what we have been discussing, feel free to ask in the comment section. When we see that there is a need for our guests to come back, we always have them back. Uh, if you're interested in the t-shirt and the hoodies, I know many people are interested in them. You can visit our website, www.lifeispiritual.org and www.worldshare.com. I don't want to waste your time. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I remain Erika Mukisakimani, a.k.a. Mama Maisha over me Zion. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And I'm Baba Zion. May God bless you. We love you. Remember, life is spiritual. <laughs>